Hi, this is Dr. Don. I've gotten interested in median for a number of reasons, but one reason is they have a lot of interesting and informative articles on Python and R and data science in general. But quite often, when I get to them, I need to open up a Python notebook. For example, this article popped up, and I'm not going to pretend I know how to pronounce the name of the KS test, but it's looking at limitations of the t-test and right off the bat they give us a link to the Jupyter Notebook for this particular article and you can click on that and go to GitHub but then what do you do next? How do you get it open into your Jupyter Notebook so that you can actually use this thing? There may be better ways of doing it, but here's the way that works for me. I just click on the raw button and it opens up the text file that has all of the code you need. Then I use a control S to save as and it will open up the save as dialog box and I'm going to navigate to where I want to put this in my Jupyter Notebooks, then you want to save it. I would call to your attention though, because this was intended to be a Jupyter Notebook, it has the IPYNV suffix, which is what you need eventually, but this particular procedure will always save it as a text document anyway. So to simplify my life, I get rid of that particular suffix and just save it as the text document. Now I need to convert that text file into a Jupyter Notebook. I like to use the Atom text editor, so I'm going to open up that, and then I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to navigate to where I saved that file, the KS test, and open it. And of course it opens it up as a text file. And all you need to do then is do a file, save as, and now I'm going to append the dot I P Y N B suffix. And that converts it into a Python notebook. Now to manipulate the Python Jupyter Notebook, I'm going to open up Anaconda Navigator. Whoa. And then I'm going to launch Jupyter Notebook. Okay. Now I'm in my Jupyter Notebooks and I just need to navigate to where I save that. And there it is. Double click on it to open it and I have my Jupyter Notebook so I can follow along and learn from that article. So I hope this helps.